guys welcome back to my channel um my name is namit Dimo, also known as beauty by nami so today i'm just going to be showing you guys my foundation routine and talk to you guys a little bit just a chit chat get ready with me um and yeah that is what we're going to be doing and i'm not naked i'm wearing my tube which is very cute so yeah um let's get to it so I'm going to start off with my MAC Prep and Prime um, thing, primer. I'm going to list the products down below. And I like using this product and uh, mainly focusing on my T-zone area because that's where um, most of my pores are. So yeah. I'm just gonna apply it on those areas. Quarantine for me. Well, it's day two of the lockdown here in Botswana, and when I say I am bored, I am super, super bored, guys. Like, I'm trying to develop like a routine um, so that I, you know, I wake up knowing what I'm going to do. But it's kind of hard to develop a routine when you're like home. Like, what do you do? You clean? You, <laughs> yeah. you meditate? It's kind of hard. And me and my mom were trying to like find some kind of routine. Um, so, yeah. But I'm hoping you guys are. You know finally taking time out to just to relax and to you know reflect so yeah now that i am done with my primer i am going to color correct and i'm going to be using my mac prep and prime um highlighter peach luster i haven't used this product in a bit and I'm just going to color correct my scars, my dark spots, because mm -hmm. they are everywhere now. And I'm just, I'm going to correct my hyperpigmentation around my mouth as well. I know people don't really care for this step. I always like... Well, most of the time, I forget, but during the day when I look at my makeup, it's so ashy around the mouth. So it's very important to color correct. So that is what you need, what you need to do for your foundation to be flawless and not for your hyperpigmentation to be peeking through. So yeah, after that, I'm just going to, just going to blend the corrector. Like I said, like, uh, lockdown for me has been quite challenging because I can't do anything. I love being home, but the fact that I know that I can't go outside, it's just, it's just messing with me, you know? But I guess as the weeks go by and days go by, it'll feel so much better. So, yeah. Like the last, um, when was it? I think we went on, it's been two days already. Um, the last few days leading to um, the lockdown, guys, I had the most embarrassing moment of my entire life. When I say of my entire life, I mean of my entire life, I had the most embarrassing time. So the president of Botswana announced that, you know, we're going on lockdown soon, so we should prepare ourselves. And with that, my parents basically panicked. They panicked by, um, they bought almost everything because they were like, we are not going hungry. And most of the food is like, where are you going to place this, you know? 
For the foundation, I'm going to use my YSL foundation. I'm going to mix it a bit with the L'Oreal um, Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Just going to mix them together and apply my foundation. So yeah, they just, they panicked by. Like, they bought most of the things at the mall, at the shop, I mean, and, um, and they're everywhere now. So a few days leading to that, I also felt like, you know what, I need snacks. When I watch um, Netflix, I should be having like snacks and stuff. So because the queue was long at ShopRite, in Game City by the way, I went and I went and, and got sweets from, from Pap, because Pap has sweets. Um, so I went to Pap. And <laughs> I went to Pep, and if you know Pep, like their sweets are like down. They're down. They're just close to the um, where you pay, the counter where you pay. So I was there, guys, and I was so bloated. I've been dealing with bloatness for quite a bit, like for quite a few days now, and. I was just <laughs> so I was just kneeling down to to get the sweet. So I I kneel down to get the seats and guys like I farted. <laughs> and not just like a like a like a silent fart. Like I literally farted and the lady at the counter was like uh what's going on luckily uh like there weren't many people in the store so no one heard that fart but me and her and she kept quiet she just kept quiet and i got my sweets and i i got my sweets and i um i left the store i left the pep so with that i was like you know what i'm not gonna look back i'm just gonna go to the um the toilet and figure out what i can do maybe i can just fart my way out and just continue going you know continue going to different stores and stuff without farting on people so i went to the toilet just to finish it all when i got to the toilet nothing happened absolutely nothing happened and so um, what i decided to do was just like continue on with shopping so as i continued on guys <laughs> the, the queue for shop right actually was like a little bit better so i just queued because i wanted some i just queued because i wanted some um some coke coca-cola so you know my stomach behave at that time i didn't fart on anyone then i went to cna just to find like a a novel for me to read while i'm in lockdown this foundation is what was that i don't know um just to read something while i'm locked down so because my house is like literally five minutes away from um game city there are little um the little passages um that i take to get out of game city so while i was in the middle of the mall you know where the surprise is and jet is while i was like in the middle of the mall just walking there was a dude behind me I was walking, another fart came out, and that fart was so loud, okay? It was a flippin' loud. I'm going to use my Essence um, Camouflage Matte Concealer. Ooh, that fart was so loud, guys. <laughs> the guy was like... Oh! Like, and I was just like, oh my gosh, what, what just 
happened i ran like i literally ran to the passage just to go home i was so embarrassed i was so embarrassed but you know what it's all good it happens it's nature it's nature it happens guys like i'm sorry for the guy who was behind me but it just happened i couldn't control it so that was the most embarrassing day moment of my life so i applied the concealer under my eyes the bridge of my nose and my um and my chin i'm just going to apply a little bit here Um, for the under eye concealer, I'm just going to let it set for a little bit to dry a little bit, then I'll blend it out. Bond This Way um, Concealer in the shade Toffee to contour my face. So yeah guys, that was the most embarrassing moment. And the day before lockdown, um, my mom decided to cook. That's why my mom doesn't cook. Like, if you ask her to cook, she will look at you like, what are you saying to me? She doesn't cook at all. And so, she decided to cook. And <laughs> my dad was like, are you sure you want to eat? Because I'm not going to eat. And I just said, you know what? Let me just, let me just test her food out. Let me just eat. I don't want to offend her. I ate the food the meat wasn't thoroughly done like it was literally raw <laughs> medium it wasn't medium it was just it was raw but i ate anyways because he was looking at me and i didn't want to offend her so i ate a couple of hours after i was literally sick like i was very very dizzy and i started throwing up i wasn't really like guys i was really sick i don't wanna lie i was really sick i even tried to do this tutorial but i couldn't because of how i was feeling i was really really sick and you know what she said to me she was like oh it's probably something you ate <laughs> I was like, yep, yeah, it is. And she didn't get it. She really didn't get what I was trying to say to her. I was like, I'm pretty sure it is. I am pretty sure it's something that I ate. Anyway, it took two days for me to feel better. And right now she's still cooking. She's cooking and I don't know what I'm going to say. Just not to eat her food, but I have to. Oh, I have to because she's going to be looking at me. I won't eat that much like I did the other day. So I'm just going to blend my my contour color where I put that Too Faced concealer. I don't really like... Um, using a dark shade to conceal i mean to contour i don't know i just don't it's not my vibe i just don't like a shade that is like you know three times darker than my complexion so i just use a shade that is like i don't know a shade darker because i'm still going to like set that with a um with a powder a darker powder so i don't necessarily need you know something that is three shades darker so yeah mm -hmm. and i usually take my contour just a little bit higher um you have to blend going upwards and not going downwards so that's what I do 
and you have to constantly like try or you have to blend the two so that there are no harsh lines so that is what i am doing the concealer actually is like it's a bit dry now i'm going to use my laura mercier translucent powder to set my under eye Just to set my under eye. I don't usually bake, guys. I feel like it's very drying. Um, well, for me, it is. And with this concealer, it dries matte, so you don't really need to bake. For my contour shades, uh, for my contour, I'm gonna um, set it with something cool first. Like I like using cool powders and then mixing a bit with um, my warm reddish powder. For that, I'm going to use my NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I'm gonna use these shades here to set um, the contour because they're more cool than anything there's nothing warm about these um, powders so I'm just going to set my contour just a little bit and with that powder with those I mean with these powders I also go upwards so after that I'm going to use my favorite favorite powder I need to stock up on this this is the black opal um, color fusion powder I've been using this powder for literally I don't know how many years but they keep going back and buying it so I'm just going to set my face with this powder I really like how like the mixture is Gosh, I'm going to use my um, Jeeves Place the Saharian um, blush volume 2 I have volume 1 and volume 2 and ever since I got these palettes I, I don't see the need to buy blushes anymore because they're so pigmented I mean so pigmented so i definitely think you guys should get these you'll never ever look at another blush again because of how pigmented it is i'm going to use um what am i going to use tau and liana liana these two and a bit of this yes why not why not Tau and Liana. Okay. I'm just going to add just a little bit to my cheeks. I'm being careful when I'm doing this, kids. You know. You don't want to end up with like... Well... Blush just really... Like, it usually disappears. It's the first thing that disappears. So I do understand why people, like pack on the blush but don't like don't look at a clown don't make it look like you know like you're a clown just do it nicely apply it lightly 
but heavy handed so that it looks like this. It looks nice. <laughs> anyway guys, I've applied my blush. I'm going to go back with my beauty blender and just blend in so that um, there are no harsh lines. My camera decided to switch off, but we are back. Um, yeah, I'm going to spray my face because it's, it's dry. I'm going to use the... Oop, I'm going to use the Ailey Girl Shimmer Spray, Finishing Spray for face and body. Um, it has some shimmer to it, some gold things inside. My camera switched off again, but anyway, we move forward. I am going to use the LA Girl Shimmer Spray, like I said, and I'm just going to spray because my face is just, it's looking a little bit. Hmm. Yes, Lord. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. I need a fan. I need a fan. So I'm going to use this Glam Bronze Studio. I got this, I don't know, was it Christmas time? I need to highlight my skin. I'm going to take this shade over here. It's a mess, guys. Sorry. This shade and this shade and this shade. I'm just going to go ahead and just add some, some, a bit of some glow, a bit of glow. So that incident, that farting incident, was my most embarrassing, embarrassing moment of my entire life. But I'm gonna tell you guys another embarrassing moment. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, like I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. But it was um, a few years ago while I was still in varsity, and if you live like. In my area in phase four you know that clearview route two the combi takes such a long time during the day to fill up so me and my friend she actually lived next door we decided you know what we'll just take clearview route three the one that goes to game city we hopped into that combi and if you know the route you know that it passes um it goes through um qs industrial and there's a four-way um there's a four-way just like in the u.s industrial place there's a four-way and in that industrial there's a lot a lot of trucks so by the four-way the combi is turning there's a a truck coming <laughs> so the combi was like turning to the right and there was a truck coming this way and your girl decided to scream because I thought the truck was going to hit us. So I screamed, Ma! 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 <laughs> and by the way, I was sitting like at the front, you know, where the bus conductor, not the bus, the combi conductor sits, um, just there, there by the door. And then I looked back. When I looked back, guys, everyone just cracked. They just cracked up. They just started laughing at me. Every single person. They laughed at me. They laughed at me. <laughs> they laughed at me. And I was so embarrassed. Even the guy like that was sitting like behind me he was just like, Why are you screaming for your mom? Combi and we walked home and all the way like all the way until we got home my friend was just laughing at me laughing at me but the farting one actually ah number one it's the one that topped it all the combi it, it, it makes the the combi situation look like you know a baby to everything it topped it all so i highlighted my skin 
that is all honestly that is my foundation routine if i wanted to like make my contour sharp i would actually use my sasha buttercup because the laurie messi i feel like it's too light for me so i'd use the sasha buttercup just to cut the um the contour and make it more you know sharp and for you to see it a little bit more but that is not my kind of look i do do it sometimes but not today so i'm gonna finish the rest of my eyes and my lips and i will be right back okay guys that is it and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned a few things about me and my embarrassing moments and a few things about this um foundation routine and yeah if you guys like these cheat chatty um videos please let me know down in the comment section and i will um do a few a few more videos i will list all the products that i used down in the description section so that you guys know which product i was using but yeah that is all and don't forget to like subscribe and comment 